Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about Return for Exchange in Odoo 18. Return for Exchange in Odoo 18 is a process where a customer returns a product to a company and receives a different product in exchange. This feature is typically found in inventory management modules and allows for seamless handling of the product and exchange. So, the customer contacts the company to request a return and exchange of the product. The company reviews the request and authorizes the return. The customer sends the product back to the company. The company receives the returned product and inspects it for damage or defect. If the product is eligible for exchange, the company selects a replacement product and prepare it for shipment. The replacement product is sent to the customer. So let's see how can we manage this in Odoo. For that, you can just consider a product called My. So I'm going to the sales module to manage with this. And under this, you can find the tab products where you can just choose a product over here and let's search for the product mic. Okay. And here you can find the products over here. So while exchanging the product, we just need to know uh, which product is returned. So I'll be tracking my inventory on the basis of unique serial number. So as you just monitor on hand quantity, this will show you the quantities that are available. And here you can find these products um, with its serial number now let's move on to the order because we have received an order from the customer for that you can just click on new button and this would let you to create a quotation our customer is joel wins and you can just fill out the details of the customer under the order lines you can just choose a product so i'm going to choose a product as equestic block screen here you can just choose a product equestic block screen with its variant so i'll be choosing the variant over here and let's click on confirm Afterwards, you can just choose the other products that you want to purchase. So, um, here we are just going to buy the mic and here you can set the quantity and everything. Later on, you can save this quotation and confirm. So, upon the uh, confirmation of this quotation, you can see currently it has turned into sale order. Now, the next step is to deliver the item. So, in order to deliver the item, we can just go to the delivery, I mean, smart, uh, smart button. And here you can see that uh, this has automatically picked a serial number from here. So that is 103 and currently uh, the product acoustic block screen hasn't uh, got any serial number. So we haven't said that. Now we just need to validate this, which means we have to deliver the item to the customer. So upon the confirmation of or uh, upon the validation of this uh, process, you can see currently we have just delivered the item to the customer. So, when the customer received the item, the customer just uh, got to understand that the product mic has damaged. So, he just need to return the item for exchange. Okay. So, we can just click on return and here you can see that we can just reverse the transfer. So, as the customer only just need to make a reversal transfer for mic, you can just delete this item over here. And here you can see uh, the product mic with one quantity. And if you want to just proceed with return, you can just go ahead with this button or you can just use for return for exchange. So we are just making a request for exchange of the product by re returning the previous item. So you can just choose this button and here you can see a next transfer will be created over here. So as we uh, want to just proceed with this, first we just need to choose the load number from here as we just want to make a reversal over here so i'll be choosing that and we can just save this so upon saving this transfer you can see that the product is currently available and here you can just click on uh, validate so that we can just make the exchange of the item so let me click on validate and here you can see that currently we have just uh, delivered the item to the customer okay so as you just move on to the uh, next transfers, here you can see that we also just need to make a return of the item, right? Um, so you can just click on validate button so that currently we have just returned the item as well as we have made an exchange for the same item. And it is easy to find using the serial number or load number. So this is how we just manage with the return for exchange in Odoo 18, which is one of the new feature to manage the inventory. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.